I'm doing okay. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Coach. Uh, before we get to questions in the queue, can you just get us started here with an opening statement on uh, last week's game against Troy and the upcoming open week for your team? Yeah, I think last week, um, you know, our guys went out and competed really hard, played a, you know, a really good football team in Troy and and came right down the wire and had a chance to win. We just needed to make one or two more plays. You know, you, uh really comes down to getting a field goal blocked and then um, running into their kicker on their field goal. It's probably as, as big a difference as the game. And then just a lot of other plays we could have made. But uh, for the most part, I thought our guys played very well, and we just need to step up and, you know, make one more play. I thought Matt Lenahan played really well, had a good game. Uh, we were good on our third downs, 10 for 16. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of good things. We just needed to make one more play. Thank you, Coach. We'll get a question now from uh, Peter Harriman with the Spokesman Review. Good morning, Coach. Uh, can you go into some depth about your where you are with quarterback now with this, through the bye week and, and possibly on into the, the next game? Yeah, I think, you know, right now with, with the bye week and have two weeks coming up, um, first thing we got to do is see, you know, everything we can medically with the staff. Um, you know, if, if there is a chance to get Matt back, and, and if not, then Mason would be the, the first guy to play and Colt Richardson would be the guy behind him. Peter, if you have a follow-up question, you can go ahead with that. Uh, that that's good. Well, I'll let, okay. As long as I'm on, can you go into any detail about Matt's injury? No, nah, you know, we don't know everything right now. Um, that's still They're still checking into it. And, you know, with two weeks before our next game, that's just something we got to explore all our options to see if there's a way we can get him back on the field. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, we'll go to our next questions from Josh Grissom with the Moscow Daily News. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, kind of on the, on the same notes uh, with Matt's status kind of up in the air right now, uh, how pivotal is this bye week period going to be for you guys looking at this last three games of the year and kind of the search for bowl eligibility, being able to make those adjustments on offense if needed? Yeah, I think it's really – I think it's – it's good that we have, um, you know, two weeks. We really almost had got a couple of extra practices in already, even going into to this week because we played on Thursday. So I think it will help us um, getting a lot of time in, both offensively and defensively, because Coast Carolina is a little bit unique offense themselves. So it will give our, our defense more time to work on their option also. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, Josh, thank you very much. And, Coach, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it, as always. All right, thank you. Have a good day.